Morgan, thank you. 46 years to the day of the tragic Beverly Hills Supper Club fire that claimed 165 lives, a permanent memorial is now in place at the site in Southgate. Surviving family members were joined by the first responders who were there to honor those who didn't make it out of the popular supper club alive. Nearly 200 people came to pay their respects after two decades of pushing for a permanent memorial. 50 fire departments and more than 550 firefighters were called to the scene. I think I can speak for the firefighters who were there when I say that May 28, 1977 was the worst day of our firefighting career. But I believe that it was also our finest hour. Thank you so much. David Brock and Wayne Demert were two young employees of the supper club that night. But there's smoke coming down around the corner of that. Okay, there is a fire. Get out of here, everybody get out, get out the back. The man credited with sounding the initial alarm of the fire was Walter Bailey, a 17-year-old bus boy at the time. I just have to say thank you. Who are you? I was in the cook camper room that night. Okay. <laughs> my life and my parents and my sister and our friends. Okay. So I thank you so much for having the courage. Yes, we did. That's wonderful. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Restaurateur Jeff Ruby was also in the cabaret room that night. At least 500 people more would have died if Walter Bailey didn't get up there and take the stage and, and make that announcement. There were 2,300 customers and staff at the supper club. Hundreds were injured. For the 165 who died, the Fort Thomas Armory had to be utilized as a makeshift morgue. These four here, um, Frederick Herr Fryman, Martin Scott Fryman, he was the youngest one killed that night. Doug Louderback lost four of his family members in the fire. We'll still talk about that night, how bad it was, but it's been a long fight and we finally got this. this is awesome. The fight for a permanent memorial began nearly 20 years ago. I knew it would happen eventually. It just had to be the right people. It's beautiful. It's from here on out. It's going to be this wonderful. Is, this is Sweet. unbelievable. It's going to be wonderful every time I come back here. The city of Southgate will maintain the memorial site as part of its parks division. I pray this memorial will give the families, friends, and co-workers peace and a place to come and remember those whom we lost 46 years ago today. Out of tragedy comes reform, according to Southgate's mayor. After the fatal fire in 1977, fire departments across the country began implementing new fire regulations to include clear and lighted exit signs, maximum capacity of individuals in the room, smoke detectors, sprinkler systems, and doors that swing out.